Okay, a few potential problems here. So we got a Quest dehumidifier, but here's some things you wanna avoid when you set these up. Right here, we have beautiful cold air coming out. Now this air is cold and it's dry because it's already coming through the air handler. But where do you see it feeding? It's blowing right over here, right into the intake of the dehumidifier. It's mixing with the room air, but basically we have 50 some degree, 54, 56 degree air that is dry and you have a dehumidifier trying to dry dry air. But fortunately, it's mixing with air in here that's also 80 degrees and 70% humidity. So it's doing something, but you're holding back the potential of your dehumidifier by feeding it beautifully cold air right in the backside of your here. That's, that's one bad thing. Another, your exits come out the side okay you're fighting this right here but that's not too too bad but you're right slammed up to a wall when it hits this wall and you can feel this wall is like 120 degrees right here it's squirting out like water from your hose hitting water and it's going out in a mushroom you have a negative pressure right here and you can actually feel some of the warm air rolling right back so you spent all this energy and money to dry this air that is coming right here and because this is a negative pressure and what's coming up here is rolling right around here and so you're getting some of this air that's already dry and you cannot re-dry dry air so you have a combination you're, you're feeding it cold dry air dry hot air with a little mixture so you're burning a lot of extra power and removing less water because you're giving it dry air plus dry air and making it do less now let's get to another thing no condensate drain no p-trap right here and if you look you see that gurgling how it's like chuggling out that's because there's no p-trap and this is on the negative side and it's building up with water it's trying to pull air back up inside here so there's about an inch of water in there that's not getting out and it's like a lake and the hot air is going across it and re-evaporating and putting it back into the room instead of removing all of the water. Let's see if I can remove the power here. I'm gonna go right there. Oh, that was the wrong thing, shit. Okay, wrong one. There we go, power right there. Here's her power. Let's see if I can get this. That was it. Now, oh, no, it's, not coming out and there's slime in there oh, there's gooey stuff in there too so this has some of that clear slime I see built up on this tube but this needs a condensate drain on it and be moved somewhere else where it's not getting fed cool dry air and hot dry air uh, the only other thing I see this filter was replaced and there's a little bug build up in this side there but when I could see the filter is actually concaved a little bit and it's pulled back and the filters are being pulled back, this is not really bad. It's clear and it looks clean, but it has an oily film on it. And that's because this was on when they were spraying either an insecticide or a fungicide that had a wetting agent that's either a soap or an oil or a glycol or something. And what it does is it coats the fine filter uh, furry filter material here the threads you know this is just a threaded material you know it's a fiber and it actually closes up so if this is if my fingers are all threads and you coat them with a clear oil they actually get thicker and it closes the air gap in between them and it makes it so it pulls less air through so you're dehumidifying less air and again you're burning a lot of power and you're getting less output because you have what looks like a clean air filter and it looks like it's flowing a lot of air through but because of all the soap and oil residue on here it's literally restricting airflow but looks good and reducing its efficiency so condensate drain stop feeding it cold dry air stop feeding it hot dry air and Turn these off every time you spray anything in the air while you're spraying your room down with any kind of insecticide or fungicide. 
that has anything in it, wait a half hour and then turn them back on. All right, that's it on this one.